For more on these new developments in Africa's deadly war is Nia Kuta. He joins us now live on the set. And how important is this latest development there? It is extremely significant, very important, but additionally, from my point of view, it is also one of the best news to come from the, from the region because it is a giant step towards ending the war. However, there are a lot of, a long way to go before bringing the war to an end. But even if you end the war, there are grievances, there are underlying reasons why the M23 took up arms in the first place. So we are a long ways away, but it's one of the biggest obstacles that has been overcome. So it's significant and it is positive. And we're talking about a region and a country, especially here, that has seen years and centuries of strife. Absolutely. What can we expect next in the Congo? And, and what about the other rebel groups? Because M23 isn't the only one there. No, they are not. You've got the FDLR, who are the people who include those who committed the genocide in the 90s, who fled into the Congo from Rwanda. You've got ADF, who are actually fighting against Uganda. You've got local, uh, local militias, and they are broadly called the Mai Mai. You've got even U.S. trainers training Africans to hunt for Joseph Kony. So that area of Africa is awash with groups, grievances, guns. And so we have to be very careful. But again, this is a, a giant step forward. Now, one of the reasons it happens is that the Congolese army, uh, the unit that has been fighting there, has been better trained, better led, better equipped, and they are getting more support from the UN, but also the United States and UK in particular, in my view, read the riot act to President Kagame in Rwanda, so he cut off his support. So if all of those things hold, the other groups will also either have to talk or be disarmed, and then Congo can uh, continue on its long climb from, as you said correctly, this is a country that has gone through a horrendous history. What message, though, does this send? You mentioned uh, a lot of those other groups. What message does it send to them? And how long will this all take? Ah, the, 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 the length, uh, it's very hard to say. It really depends on the groups. One message that it could send is, look, now the international community is backing the Congolese army and they are very serious, so better make a deal while you can. Because if you wait to be defeated, you can't get a lot of deals. So they could look at it that way. On the other hand, the, uh, you know, fighters always get uh, pretty cocky and they will say, well, we can fight them. So uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they will take the earlier option and say, look, let's make a deal now so that the fighting can die down. There is a lot of work to be done. It has to be democratic and it has to be uh, economic, and it has to deal with grievances of different groups, especially ethnic groups, because ethnicity is also a big part of this issue. Well, is there a group currently that could be hard to convince that may want to take the place that M23 had in the country? I think, I think you know, th that's a great question. There are many different possible answers. My own particular bias and suspicion is because I think, you know, the M23 was created by Rwanda. And they had created two other groups before then. Always it's a group of Rwandan Tutsis. So um, a, a, a summit was held in South Africa. The one head of state that did not go was President Paul Kagame. So if he hasn't had a genuine change of heart, he could try to reconstitute another group, give them another name, because M23 is the third group. On the other hand, I'm actually hoping he won't, because I think finally in about uh, almost 20 years, London and Washington, the, the UK and the US, who is Rwanda's ally, they have started getting tough with him. We here in Washington, we've been pressing these governments to say, look, Rwanda gets a lot of aid. You need to put pressure on them to rein in the M23, and finally they have. All right. Very optimistic view from the Akute. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show. My pleasure.